Alright, so in my previous video, I showed you guys how to set up amps on Windows 2010. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a domain to amps. What you need to do is click the add domains option in amps. And then choose whatever domain you want to add in there. For me, it's uh, example.dev. I'm just doing this to show you guys how it's done. You can see this access denied thing over here. This is the only reason I have to go in and uh, manually edit the host file. Uh, it, it I don't know why, but amps it doesn't seem like Windows allows it to edit the hosts file. Um, to edit the host file, I'll show you how to go about doing that step by step after we add the domain. So. Just click the add domain button. Okay. You can always manage your domains by going to the domain manage page. Um, you can see all the domains that you have set up in your amps. All right. Um, to edit the host file, you need to click your start menu and type in command when you see the command prompt option just right click it and click click the rom, run as com, run as administrator option click yes okay once you're in the command prompt we need to browse to the directory that the hosts file is in so just type in cd driver oh sorry it's drivers and then cd edc and then do a directory to see the files in this directory okay so you see the hosts file is in this directory what you need to do to edit this is type in notepad and uh, type in hosts after it what this will do is just uh, open up the hosts file in a notepad in the notepad application now what you have to note is uh, that since we opened up the command prompt as an administrator um, we are also opening up the notepad application as an administrator and we are editing the hosts file as an administrator too so it's going to let us do it so i'm just removing these hashtags because i wanted to uh, recognize the local host and i'm just going to add in another line here with the same IP but I'm gonna add the no new domain I have in here as well and then I'm just gonna add the same uh, colon colon one followed by the path that this, dar uh, this domain is uh, in which is localhost example.dev so once this is done uh, you can just save all right so now that it's saved um you should go ahead and see if it's working so yeah you can see that it's working but it's not taking you to the right directory right now what happened is uh, when i went to example.dev it took me to localhost which is just the localhost directory you, you see that's exactly the same thing now um sorry i didn't show you guys what was going on before we added these things into the hosts file so i'm just gonna hashtag all this again and save the host file and then we're gonna try to go back to example.dev and as you can see that before we added anything into the host file um it couldn't even reach to the example.dev domain um, just because we added these lines into the host file it's actually being able to find the domain and link it to the local host directory like it is now all right i don't, I don't know why that took so long anyway um to fix uh, what's going on right here, uh, instead of um, example.dev opening up the localhost, I wanted to go into its actual directory, example.dev, which you see right here. Um, to do that, you need to go into your amps. 
Apache setup and you need to edit your configuration um, once you're in here and you scroll down you'll see that there are some options down here Yeah, that uh, there's some options uh, over here that um, give you uh, options to add a new virtual host if you want to. So uh, the only way to add a new virtual host I could find is to just copy this whole thing and uh, paste it down here and change uh, this 127.0.0.1 to example.dev and the path to the directory uh, or the domain you added in there i mean you, you're gonna have to edit it i'm just adding example.dev because i added the domain example.dev all right so Once this is all set up, um, we save it, you save it and then try to access example.dev again. Um, you see the same thing, but if you restart your Apache configuration and then try to access the domain, you'll see that it takes you into the example.dev directory that you need to be in. So you've set up successfully a domain on your local server. Congratulations. All right. For so um for this video, this is all. Um, I just wanted you to be able to set up your domain on your local amps before we get into installing WordPress, which is what we're gonna be doing in our next video. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you found this useful. If there are any questions, uh, please use the comments, and uh, subscribe to these videos if you wanna know when the next one's coming out. Thank you, thank you again.